is amazing. was finally demolished and what's left of it, I mean the very bottom layer, needed to be cleaned properly for the new works to start. It was the worst part as whole house got so dusty that I just had to make an escape. So I had to do the mod test for my van. I took it to a garage to address some little issues and what else. And this is their barbecue. That's where they barbecue their sausages when they end the week. Cool, isn't it? Okay, Snoopy, I think it's ready. We can go. Bye bye. Then it was time to take it to the place and see if we could pass it. And guess what? Success! Celebrating with a coffee and a nice walk before taking a few days out at my caravan. Helping the neighbors there with some seasonal chores. Uh -huh. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Here I had my first lesson in making pickles. Always wanted to learn, so yes. After the jars were filled, they then were topped up with a marinade and placed in a water bath where they had to boil for about 15 minutes to make sure they would keep well over the winter. Also, we were making a syrup from irony berries. Yeah, yeah. Oh. berries. Uh -huh. So the berries would steam for ages, as water on the bottom part of this juicer keeps boiling. And so the juice would come out to which we added sugar, then poured into bottles to be stored for winter, which then can be used to flavor puddings or make a squash for drinking. We also pickled some gherkins. 
Then once the boiling process was completed, it was time to screw on lids very tightly to make sure air wouldn't get in. Then jars placed upside down and covered with a blanket overnight before they finally could go in cellar. Oh, no, it was Galinch, yeah? Yeah. Then I spotted this weird looking plant. Can you believe it? I stood there for ages. I just couldn't stop admiring it. The flowers, if you can call them flowers, were so vibrant of this amazing dark pinky reddish color. Also the texture, like a fabric, so unreal. I just couldn't get my head around. So yes, I will be kindly asking the neighbors to dig out some of it in spring and plant it in my cottage garden. I also got a lot of mint, which I will dry and have in winter as a tea which helps with digestion. Then it was time to head back. But not before we passed by one of our favorite spots. Amazing how being in a forest makes you feel relaxed instantly. And of course, a forest walk without seeing mushrooms at this time of the year wouldn't be a forest walk. You found another one? Oh yeah, I can see. Oh, it's there. Look. Oh my God. So we were lucky enough to find these bad boys, which in Latvian are called Bakka. They have many different varieties of these particular species and they are so delicious. So I've been given these saucepans, which will be absolutely amazing. Aluminium ones, amazing for the wood stove. And because they are right to be put on direct fire. Then I've got a horseradish root, which I will plant and I will grow and make my own horseradish. Then I pick this at a lake. I see if I can find the right name for it. These are so amazing. They smell gorgeous. But the main thing is that they are very, very good uh, pest repellents. Is that how you call that? Uh, so they would scare away flies, uh, fleas, um, mosquitoes, mice, things like that. So I'm gonna be putting them on the floor inside my cottage. It has very nice aroma. And so it's organic for me and Snoopy to breathe in. And um, then I've got green peas. Then I've got so many cucumbers and so much carrots. Then I've got a sack of potatoes. And of course, the pickles, which I made the other day. Three bottles of that syrup. My mint is drying nicely. I've got these things, of course. This is bloody amazing. It doesn't look natural, but can you believe it? It's real, it's a plant. So I'm going to try to dry it and see if it retains this awesome, vibrant color. And some more of this plant. Hello. You all right? Good job, good job. Good job, yes. And now we need to put everything away. Hotty, very hot today, isn't it? Yeah. Then it was finally time to face the reality, which, as you can see, was pretty dusty. Everything, every single thing was covered with dust from all that grinding, which we just couldn't avoid in order to start works on building a brand new wood stove.
Despite of having covered all the possible places with plastic, the dust still got through somehow. Anyways, after spending a whole day on cleaning everything, I can finally show you what's left of the old wood stove, which will be the base for the new foundations. By the way, remember there was an old wooden shelf in that corner next to chimney? I really can't remember which one of you commented that when I free this space I should be using it to store firewood. What a genius idea! Thank you so much! Now, remember at the beginning of this video I started to paint this one? I made it uh, intentionally uh, bright colors, warm colors, uh, just to brighten up, uh, warm up this room because it is a cold room and not much daylight coming in, only evening light. But I still like this, you know, the brown tones, uh, although it doesn't feel cold. It doesn't feel cold at all. It's cozy. What I will do, I will just continue painting. So now the, the, the base is done, uh, the background, I, I would say the background. Yeah. And so now I'm adding details. And I guess this painting will be very detailed. In the end, it's going to come uh, together very nicely. I hope so. Uh, but anyways, if I don't like this painting eventually in my bedroom, then I'm going to put it in the living room once the uh, living room is decorated. But for now, I'm going to keep it here because this is going to be space where I'm going to be working on it. Uh, whenever I feel inspiration, whenever I come up with uh, another detail I want to add. So this is work in progress and it's going to be work in progress for a while, knowing me. Perhaps even I will leave it until I come back from traveling because I kind of want to go travel. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Again, I don't plan things. And then, yeah, if I go, then when I come back, then I can continue on this. So, yeah. It's not going to be ready any soon, guys. Actually, the reflection of this painting in that mirror looks great. Perhaps I'll leave it. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. I'll see how it feels when I live in it, in this room. Then I only then I know what else I want to add, what I want to remove. My mushrooms let me show you better in a better light so I cut them put some garlic with it and I'm gonna fry them up because they're already becoming once you cut them they're becoming dark you know so you need to once you cut them you need to cook them sorry about the mess really it's just nightmare you know in a, in here with all this mess going on see we already started to do the bottom always gets dusty and dirty and everything so yeah i can't even bother to clean this bloody stove anyways what i've got here uh i just got some uh, carrots for dinner and then of course oh my god my pudding i just made another one i can't get enough of this pudding and i've got so many black currants so it's just amazing to you know use them well let me just grab a spoon see i cover everything with the uh, with the napkins because of the flies hello look how many flies i already got here and yeah so they're coming in that's that's life in the countryside you know it's a little bit interesting this time this pudding but still tastes good let me have a little spoonful mm. Mm -hmm. oh my god it's so fluffy it's like a pink cloud Mmm, mm. but the best thing is to eat it with the milk. Mmm. See, I just haven't had breakfast yet. That's why I'm so hungry. And mmm. Anyways, mmm. Oh wow. So what's going on? Yeah, so I'm gonna fry them up with the garlic salt and um, oregano. And then they're gonna be ready for the dinner. Uh, see, I cook my dinner in the morning. 
just to save me time later in the afternoon because I'm always busy and then I don't want to stop doing things just for to cook the meal you know anyways let me just have another one <laughs> here I just wanted to show you how much of the big plums I managed to harvest I didn't film it but I made a freaking damn good jam okay after all the different jobs going on as well as keeping a record of everything editing and what else I felt like I deserve a little break and perhaps a little something just for myself like a treat like this thing for example and so 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 where are we gonna uh, put it together because once it's put together it's gonna be too heavy and also the door the doors are very narrow so i won't be able to get it through i don't know i don't know and then in bedroom there's so much stuff already in here as well and also i am still painting and so i've got my colors paints everything there and so we don't have much space if i put against there then you know it's gonna be in way of window and uh, the Snoopy's bed is there anyways okay I think it's gonna stay in this room for a bit until I decide where I want to put it oh my god oh my god lordy lordy oh wow how comfortable is that how comfortable is that? Wow. And I can spin around. Spin around. Amazing, amazing. I normally don't buy things, you know guys. Apart from buying things which are necessary, like my mattress, because I wouldn't sleep on a used mattress. No way in the world, because I want my own energy into that mattress so it needs to be new it needs to be mine it needs to be perfect for me to have a better the best sleep ever you know sleep is very important and so yeah and um, so i made my bed frame i made my floor lamp i made my uh, painted my paintings i did this did that uh, re upcycled uh, things which uh, were here in a cottage beforehand but say things like this like a chair like this spinning chair, swivel chair, whatever you call it, I wouldn't be able to make it. Uh, I'm not that clever just yet, but uh, maybe in future. Anyways, anyways, this was what I really, really, really wanted. A space, a place, my own awesome, comfortable place where I can do many things. Firstly, it's for relaxing after a long day relaxing just sit back relax and recap on the day also i can use this awesome comfy chair as my work chair where i create all the videos do the video editing do the computer work interacting with you guys also it serves my spiritual journey as well and whilst I'm somewhere else. <laughs> you could try this guys i wish you could try it oh my god oh my lordy bloody hell this is amazing how comfortable is this you know how many chairs i have tried within two months time now like i've sat in uh, hundreds and hundreds of chairs and none of the chairs have felt like this <laughs> and that's it from us today thank you so much for watching and see you next time